Hello my fellow hunters, maybe you remember back my old Switch X meta builds. This build was based on the Rabbit Morph loop combo, but I figured out that for some monsters, which are very fast and agile, it's better to speedrun them with a ZSD spam because it's a lot easier. Uh, some monsters that are better to set as D-Spam is the Toby Kadachi. So I'm gonna show you uh, the thumbnails of two previous videos from me. So it's uh, the Toby Kadachi speedrun in 2 minutes and 59 seconds with the Rampage Slicer S water element minus 30% affinity and the Naragakuga speedrun in 2 minutes and 29 seconds with the Thunder Narva switch check. So if you have watched, if you haven't watched them, I recommend watching them you because it's better to understand for the video. So um, I just want to say, um, for some monsters, they have pretty bad raw zone values. Like for the Tobi Katachi, my opinion, he's a lot more harder than the Narga Kuga. You can see a lot of hit zone values are 45, so weakness exploit can be triggered. And he has pretty good hit zone values, elemental hit zone values. So the, the raw hit zone values are kinda bad, and the elemental hit zone values are very juicy. So, for example, for this monster, it's hard to figure it out whether it's better to go to the head or to the tail. You can see on the head, it's a 48 raw hit zone value with a 30 elemental hit zone value, and on the tail, it's a 65 raw hit zone value with a 20 water elemental hit zone value. And in general, also, I want to show you how to figure out the best build, and I programmed this this tool. This is a ZSD calculator. Maybe you remember back this uh, calculator. This is the Rapid Morph calculator, and in this calculator, also skills like Power Prolonger and the Rapid Morph level and other stuff was included. And I choose this tool for all my uh, meta builds based on the Rapid Morph loop combo. So, who, for everyone who is interested now in ZSD spamming monsters or speedrunning monsters with ZSD, um, I'm gonna show you how to calculate it especially. So, I'm gonna try to create new meta builds, but only for the ZSD spam, because the morph is completely different. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think maybe the Ludo Askia is better for the Tobi Kadachi because it's an elemental file. Uh, sorry, it's, it's, uh, sorry, it's what a power file. I'm not sure. The Ludo Askia is, by the way, a very strong switch X. I think he can reach by sharpness. And there are all, also some other pretty good water switch axes like the Mizutsuni switch X. And I want to compare this uh, for the set of D-Spam. So the first thing we are going to need is this ZSD calculator, then this web page, I give you the link in the description, and I also needed this calculator for the, sorry, the spreadsheet for the elemental multipliers. So Team Dockside released a video where they told about elemental motion values, but ele elemental motion values doesn't exist, only for the raw uh, yes, values. So for element, it's called elemental multipliers. So the name elemental motion values is wrong. So um, here are the different moves for the ZSD. You can see the element discharge. What is the difference between element discharge and a ZSD this and a ZSD? I can show you. It's very easy. So uh, element discharge is when you're doing. A discharge, but you does not attach to the monster. That means your switch X uh, gouge isn't end. And if your switch X gouge is end, it's called a zero sum discharge. So here at the top, maybe it doesn't say zero sum discharge, but it is. It is a zero sum discharge. Okay, that was the difference. Zero sum discharge when you attach to the monster and element discharge if you doesn't attach to the monster. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the motion values. You can see here different motion values. That means how strong this attack is compared to the time it used. You can see the the finisher or the strongest 
or they not really show how strong attack is, they show just how big the number is. So you can see the set is the finisher and the advanced slash file burst are by far the best, giving you the best damage numbers. And we also have um, different elemental multipliers. That means uh, very fast attacks, like when you're setting Sting, the um, elemental multiplier falls down to 0 0.5 or 0 0.7. For example, you can see here it for the zero time discharge ticks, there are only 0 0.5. That means if you have a switch axe with 40 element, it only does like 20 elements. So the element, the strength of the element got hold in it. Um, and there are also some other moves like the um, the advanced slash file burst, which has a multiplier of two. That means it doubles the strength of the element. So it's pretty good for element, but it needs a long time, so maybe it's just for balancing, okay? So you can say we have two different multipliers for the switch X. We have the elemental multiplier for our move, and we also have the multiplier from our file we get. Actually, this uh, calculator only supports elemental and power file, but I also get the add the dragon file later. So we're gonna choose the elemental file. So it's got a 1.45 elemental multiplier, and you can see it here. Uh, it's a elemental cross file multiplier. You can see it's got, uh, yes. If, for example, if you're doing elemental discharge finisher, the motion or the multiplier, elemental multiplier goes up to 2.175. It's because of the 1.5 elemental multiplier and the 1.45 elemental blow. Yeah, 45 multiplier. That makes they stack and they got pretty strength. So here you can input all your stuff, but I show you step for step what's the best way to to use this sheet. So with the first wing, we're gonna pick a part of the monster where we're gonna set a C-span. You can also um, create the average hit zone value. So maybe you can write, uh, if you don't want to calculate for every part of the monster, you can write 50 raw hit zone values and 25 water hit zone value because it's the average. But if you may be more advanced player, you can also pick several types from the monster. So we're gonna use the head. So the head has a 48 hit zone value and the 30 water hit zone value. You can put that in here in numbers. But why I'm choosing this hit zone value, I am gonna explain it to you. We are now, it's just for the showcase, I wanna show you that the calculator works fine. And we're gonna attack the head of the dummy, and the dummy has a 100 raw hit zone value and a 30 elemental hit zone value. So we're gonna type these hit zone values in. And then we're gonna check our raw attack. So you can see, um, our attack currently is... 217. So you can type in 217. And if you're using Agitator or other stuff, it is better to use this calculator. So you can put in maybe um, Agitator and it shows you how's the raw. So maybe if you have Agitator level 5, it says, sorry, anything was wrong here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to check the power charm and the t power talon. So this calculator says if you're using Agitator 5, it's 243, so you can type in here 243. But we were using the other one, I showed you in the training area, it's 217. The next thing, we're gonna have a look at the elemental attack. Please always go to status. Don't go to equipment info, because if you have elemental attack level 5 or other stuff, uh, it doesn't appear there. So our element is 37, and you can type it here, 37. Next thing is we're gonna check the affinity. All every, um, every time go to status, our affinity is 0%, so we type in 0%. Also critical boost, we doesn't have any critical boost. If you're playing super checks with like the rampage slice or with negative affinity, please type in experimental uh, for negative crit. So you can type it in here, the 0.75 multiplicator. So we're gonna choose in the zero, you know that's actually the wild switch X, so it has a white sharpness. You can see here the 
the raw multiplier and the elemental multiplier. So you can see there are different multipliers that appear here. So the we choose the white one. And yes, for the file type we are choosing the elemental file. So I'm gonna make the screen a little bit bigger and I put it in all the stuff and we're gonna check whether the values are correct. So the first thing I also have to mention that is a set as D um, is the sum of several moves. So you can see we're doing the, the set as D thrust is like three attacks in a row and the set as D ticks or maybe nine or ten. The database here doesn't tell us correctly uh, whether it's nine or ten. You can see hits up to 10 times, uncertain if the 10th is possible in normal gameplay. So when I'm doing a set SD to the dummy, it tells me 14 hits. So I think it, the 10 is okay, but I'm not completely sure. And we also have the finisher, which is one tick. So they all got summed up here in the yellow box. And this is also if you're using the... If you're not using Invisible Gambit, if you're using the advanced slash file burst. So that also sums up here. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna test whether the data is correct. So we're gonna do a set SD now. So you now see the data for the set SD. They the ticks should be 70 at the start and at the mid. So for the thrust it's about 70, and for the ticks it should be. 53 and for the finisher 295 but make sure that this data is rounded so maybe plus minus one so we should have a look at whether we have 70 and 53 so go back to the game and charge the switch x seventy and fifty three let's check it out sorry 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 53, 71, and 53, 53, 295. So you can see all the data was correct. It's working very well. So we can see a complete ZSD makes 1036 damage with this switch X. Um, now to the to the soaring Wyvern blade. So the Soaring Wyvern Blade with the Advanced Slash or like free attacks. The Soaring Wyvern Blade gives you the most um, part for the for the gouge. So it's when you're pressing L and triangle if you're using a PS4 controller. And now at the top here you got maybe about 30% of the gouge. It's this one, the Soaring Wyvern Blade. That's just the jump upwards. It's giving you a lot of the gouge like it mentioned here. Oh sorry, it was not the sewing wyvern blade, it was only 10, so the advancing slash giving you 30%, okay? So um, this damage number sh now should be 104, let's check it out. Okay, that was 104. Or 105, okay. Plus minus 1, okay, the data is also correct. And now the advanced slash and the burst is the thing that appears maybe five seconds after attack. So 130 and 230, sorry, 113 and 238. So maybe that's a little bit tricky. Yeah, 113. Okay, 113 and 238. Okay, we've seen it. So you can see my spreadsheet is working absolutely perfect with plus minus one and if you're interested in ZSD builds or in ZSD morph you can tell me it in the comment section down below and I'm gonna make elemental ZSD builds if you're interested. So maybe these builds are not running the full maxed out rapid morph skill. I'm not sure whether I should play it with level 2 because level 2 is a lot better than level 1 but I'm not really sure what's better, but I think maybe it's better to run a level 2 or I'm not really sure what's the best one. 
because the Iron Drawn Helmet is still pretty good. And yes, you can now see the entire combo does 1191 attack. And that's it. So we can, and now I'm gonna show you why the Power File is still better. So we're gonna change the file type to Power File, okay? Um, let's imagine the Wild Strike Switch X had a Power File. Let's see what happens. You can see here the multipliers for the raw is actually 1 and for the elemental it's 145 and the damage is 1.5k damage. I'm gonna change to the raw. Sorry, I forgot to change this. It's only 1.15. Okay. You can check it out here. Power file applies 1.15 multiplier. Okay, now it should be correct. Elemental is 145 and power is 115. So you can say if it was a power file, it was about 80 damage more, but you also have to include that it the file took longer to go into the end state. And yes, if you are interested in ZSD builds and ZSD morph, you can tell me in the comment section down below and I show you different matchups and what's the best one. And I also show you some switch checks for speed runs. And I also gonna put you the link for this calculator in the description down below. So have fun with this, see you next time.